With gratitude to other YouTube posters with Ford Escape problems, I'm going to try and determine today if I have a bad idle air control valve. The symptoms is the motor starts immediately and will not idle. If I race the motor for a while, it sputters around 3-4,000 RPM and as soon as I let my foot off the gas, the motor immediately dies. If I let it warm up, the motor will idle at a very, very low speed. Such a low speed that if you have an interior fan on or the rear window defroster, you'll be late for Thanksgiving dinner because it totally drained the battery while the motor was sitting there running at a very low idle. This is the V6. That's the idle air control valve in the center of the picture. This is the motor we're looking at. This is my wife's Ford Escape. I'm going to go in inside the car, start the motor, put the camera on the uh, tachometer so that you can see what happens. Okay, we're going to start the motor. That's what happens every time. And now I believe it's unstuck. And I might get an might get an idle. Nope, didn't get an idle. So anything with the word idle in it is certainly something that needs looked at. Now I'm going to go out and remove that take a look at. I already called my advanced auto parts store $48. It's about six miles from here and it comes with the new gasket right in the package and uh, if I get that off of there and it's as gunked up as I think it's going to be I may either clean it or go off and buy a new one. That remains to be determined. To remove the electrical connection, we just grab it firmly on the side and squeeze it, and it slides right off. There's two bolts holding it on. They're 5 sixteenths. You need a 5 sixteenths ratchet. I've got a little adapter on mine to give it some height. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down. To remove the electrical connection, grab it firmly, get your thumb in there right behind this little loopy thing. Squeak, give it a squeeze, and it pulls right off. The nuts are 5 sixteenths, got a 5 sixteenths ratchet, and uh, I'm going to set the camera down and go ahead and take those two bolts out. They weren't too tight, just firm. I read one poster say about 10 pounds, which is just shade past snug. I'm going to put that bolt in my pocket so I don't drop it down in the motor. And we'll get a good idea what this puppy looks like on the inside. Oh, this car has 71,000 miles on it. And it's been doing it off and on. It started in July and then it went away. I thought it was a vacuum leak, different things like that. Well, there's the inside of the valve. You can see it's covered in black soot. I don't know if I have anything abrasive or caustic enough to uh, clean that with, but I'm going to give it a shot. The gasket still seems to be in good shape. That's that white 
you see there. I'll probably spray some stuff down in there too. I have uh, gum out, you know, throttle cleaner. So I'm going to go in the garage, get a coffee can, and start spraying. Two things happened since I got that part off. I sprayed it with gum out, and uh, none of that black stuff came out. I don't know what it is, but it's on there tight. And if the problem is in the electrical portion, naturally that can't be repaired. But I did step into the car and restart it. There's That part is off the motor, it's disconnected, and we get just about the same result. Only just a tad worse. So I'm thinking that's the problem, so I'm off to the auto parts store. I'll be back $50 later. Okay, here we are back with a new part. Before we leave the auto parts store, make sure they did. there's a gasket inside the box. This one came with a gasket. And we're going to take the old gasket out. Kind of a rubber band type thing. Well, okay, I'm going to go get a screwdriver. The new part looks like it's the same upside down, turned around, doesn't have a, uh, a bigger side or a smaller side. Seems to be totally interchangeable, right side up, upside down. I'm just going to tuck it down in there the whole way around. Here's the new valve, nice and clean in there. And it did cost $50, a couple pennies shy of that. Get my screws out of my pocket. They don't get cross threaded. Turn them in with your fingers. They don't turn easy with your fingers, then you gotta start over again. This uh, repair is pretty simple. You can actually do it with one hand while you're holding the camera. Okay, those are properly started. Find out what pocket I put my wrench in. Here we go. Again, that's a 516 socket. Pretty loose, so it won't it won't activate the ratchet. Just spin it in with your hands. Ten pounds of pressure isn't a whole lot. You certainly don't want to strip this. I'm not going the whole way out here. Just nice and snug. Pop the electrical connection back on. That couldn't be easier. 
So that's the entire installation process. Now we're going to go inside the car and see if we threw away $50 bill or not. Okay, here we go. Small prayer. Perfectamundo. Thank you to all my friends that post on YouTube to help out us poor suckers. This is your unconscious mechanic with an idle control valve repair. One of the important things to remember about this repair was at no time did the engine ever throw a code. I never had the check engine light come on, so if I would taken it to the Ford dealer, they would have hooked the computer up, found nothing, give me a $200 bill, and sent me home. Because the problem was intermittent. It started in July, this is the end of November, and uh, sometimes it would do it once every three weeks. Uh, probably didn't do it in September at all. Then in October, it started doing it once a week. And uh, a week or so ago, it started doing it every day, coming and going. So it just progressed to uh, where the, the, it was hard to get anywhere in the car with any kind of faith at all. But at no time did the engine throw a code on this. And taking it to the mechanic would have been a waste of time unless he was experienced mechanic knowing what uh, and and it, the problem was duplicated while you were there. I took it to the mechanic once for inspection told him what kind of trouble I was having. He gave back to me said couldn't find nothing wrong. So I remember no code, fifty dollars. Your children could make that repair. It's uh, I showed you the symptoms and uh, boy I tell you what, fired right up. Thank you.